So our next lesson will be cohesive devices. So in this slideshow is a list of cohesive devices. They are organized by their function. So do not learn all of them. Learn a few from each slide. You don't have to memorize, but you have to understand and familiarize, all right? So what is cohesive devices? So these are words or phrases that connect the ideas in your sentences or paragraphs, all right? So when you write an essay or report, only use cohesive devices first if you can use it correctly. Second, if it is needed. And do not use too many cohesive devices. Use only a few in each paragraph in an effective, accurate, and natural way. All right? Okay. Now, let's get started. All right. We have here transition words. So transition words are used as cohesive devices that can help you connect ideas in your sentences and paragraphs. All right, so here are some different types of cohesive devices. So first is time and sequence. So it indicates the time relationship. They tell us when something happened, all right? So next we have place and position. Okay, so it pertains to their position or location. And we have the comparison and contrast. So here, it is the differences and similarities. Okay, so next we have the cause and effect. So cause and effect is a relationship or a combination of an action and reaction. So something happens, so a cause, that leads to an effect or result. All right. Next, we have the add, repeat, and emphasize, okay? So using these transitions to add information and emphasis, and of course, to make our ideas easier to follow by adding transition words or phrases between paragraphs. And we have the reformulation. It is an error connection, or error correction technique okay so we can say in other words or in short that is reformulation all right next we have the transitions that show time and sequence okay so here are some examples so always after a while meanwhile at first what else first, second, third, so those are ordinal numbers. So these words signal that the order in which events happen, okay? So they allow the readers to understand a sequence of or a series of events. So for example, first, we measure the perfume into the beaker. Following that, we poured it into its designated bottle. And finally, we label the battle, all right? So let's have some examples in the sentence. Example, so the drama had an old-fashioned theme, but at the same time combined modern production techniques. So at the same time shows order or order of events, all right? Next. We need to wash our clothes. After that, we can go to the taste of DC Festival. Okay, so after that. Next. After so much time waiting in the long line, the boys finally got their hamburger. So that is after. All right. Okay. So next we have the transitions that shows place and position. So there are some examples, so above, on top, nearby, elsewhere, and between, inside, 
outside. All right. So these transition words shows relationship in space. They tell us where something is relation or is in relation to something else. So some examples also are or include here, near, below, behind, in front, there. All right. So we have here, she looked over the horizon for any sign, though in the distance she could not see the surprise coming her way. So in the distance. All right. So next, he picked up the penny from beneath the couch. Okay. So beneath is an example of transitions that shows location. All right. So now we have the comparison and contrast. So here are some examples. So these words and phrases indicate that the writer is pointing out a similarities between two subjects. So they tell us that the second one or the second idea is like the first one in some way, okay? So example compared with, at the same time, in comparison with, like and likely and many more all right so let's have some examples in sentence so here like her grandmother sally loves to watch football game right all right so like here is a word that shows comparison okay so next we have math was hard for me in high school likewise it is hard in college okay all right okay so let's have a transition that shows contrast so but however in contrast instead otherwise nevertheless okay so these transition words signal a change in the writer's direction of thought so they tell us that a new idea will be different in a significant way from the previous one okay so there is evidence or contrary or point of alternatives all right so let's read some examples so karen's cat salem is so unlike midnight midnight likes to nap a lot and salem likes to play a lot okay so unlike here shows contrast next sharon has not visited the land of dragons yet if she had a kid she would have gone by now okay so yet is a word that shows contrast okay so next we have the cause and effect Okay, so examples, as a result, because, so, and many more. So cause and effect transition signal that a writer is going to describe a result or effect. They tell us what will happen because something else happened. Okay, so that is cause and effect. So here are some examples. So Mandy was not able to move around well because his hind legs were in cast. So the result is Mandy was not able to move around. And the cause, his hind legs were in cast. All right, so next. Did you see the tragic accident on I-85 South? it was caused by a drunk driver so cause or rather drunk driver is the cause and the effect is tragic accident all right so next we have because it is raining today the homecoming game will be cancelled so because it is raining today is the cause and the effect is the game was or will be cancelled all right, that is cause and effect relationship. So next we have 
the add, repeat, and emphasize. So here are some examples. So again, also, and, and then, and many more. So these transitions tells you that the writer is presenting two or more ideas that continue along the same line of thought. So they add a thought that has already been mentioned. And of course, uh, some of these examples are in addition to, likewise, add information and to reinforce ideas or express. The little girl put on her yellow shirt and brown overalls. Okay, so and next, Crystal likes camping in the mountains. Also, Crystal is an experienced hiker. Okay, so also. You haven't paid the rent yet. In addition, you owe me money. Okay, so in addition. Next, we have the reformulation. So here are some examples. So in other words, rather, briefly, put simple. Okay, and a lot of examples. So these words or phrases signals that a writer is about to summarize or come to a conclusion. Again, it is an error correction technique. So in reformulation, we have to repeat or uh, say in other words, or that is to say, or basically, so we are summarizing, all right? Okay. So here are some examples. So first, he is a conservative. In other words, he favors the preservation of old institutions in their original form. All right. So the phrase in other words. Okay. So next we have when saying something, saying things directly was not the rule. Okay. So that is to say, we tried to convey the message subtly, though with creativity. All right. So that is to say is an example of is an example rather of words or transition that shows reformulation. All right. For your ILT, please read your book, pages 64 to 69. All right. So that is all for today. Goodbye, everyone. Have a nice day.